Welcome to another D7 video. Um, in this particular video, I just want to stress uh, that uh, D7 has been built up into this point as being a malware removal utility. It is far more than that. Um, this particular video, I like to talk about Data Grab, which is a uh, quick data retrieval tool. <clears throat> I wrote this because I see a lot of technicians that will back up data by cloning a hard drive and they'll pull the data that they need off of that hard drive in little bits and pieces um, and put it back on the customer's uh, fresh format and reload. Um, well in the meantime they've also wasted a whole lot of time and a whole lot of server space backing up 20 or 30 gigabytes of data that didn't need to be backed up um, because they've cloned the, the entire drive. I see other techs who will copy uh, uh, the whole user profile uh, directory. Um, that's great. You're, you're getting mostly everything, but you're also getting mostly everything. All of the temp files, all of the junk from uh, programs and application data that you don't need. So I wrote data grab to get only the things that you do need. All right, let's get started. The first thing data grab does, it wants to launch under the system account. I'm not going to do that in this particular case because I have an issue with this virtual machine uh, preventing that from functioning properly. Um, but uh, generally you do want to launch with the system account because that gets around uh, certain permissions issues uh, if you've got uh, private user profiles or, or what have you. Um, in any case, moving on, the first thing DataGrab does is it looks for a program in your third-party utils directory called Unstoppable Copier from Roadkill with one L dot net. Um, it's an awesome app and uh, highly recommend it uh, whether you're using it with DataGrab or by itself. Um, so stop by Roadkill.net and give uh, Roadkill props for that. Uh, in any case, um, we're going to use Unstoppable Copier for this session. Um, I always do. Um, select your target drive. Uh, here's where you select an offline installation. Or uh, In this particular demonstration, I'm going to show you a backup on the local system to show you a few other things that DataGrab does. Um, below that, we've got the user profile location. Um, with the user profile location, um, I just did not want this detected automatically. I'd like to see it for myself. I like to select it for myself. So um, I know if I select users, it says invalid because there's there's nothing there. Um, if I go back to documents and settings, we've got uh, all users and my user account. Um, below that, we've got additional folders to back up. It's very self-explanatory. However, sometimes um, you might see images or scans pop up. That's because I frequently see these um, in the root of a customer's hard drive. It has like a network scanner, um, something like that, and they, they've configured the output to dump there. Um, so I have that uh, auto-populate if it's found. Um, user profiles also self-explanatory application data this covers local settings application data as well it gets your outlook uh, all of your uh, settings your uh, nk2 file your pst file of course um, outlook express gets your dbx files also gets your windows address book there's a uh, windows mail um, firefox and mozilla profiles earthlink uh, mail and profiles ibm client access if you know what that is you know you don't want to leave that behind um, search entire partition the very first thing under here doesn't actually search the entire partition so it doesn't really belong there but it's there um, get miscellaneous documents in root of partition um, also it gets miscellaneous documents in um, the bare user profile directory because you know sometimes s customers documents end up there I can't explain it they can't explain it, it just happens so data grab takes that into account um, below that we do have search entire partition for everything else. A um, couple pre-populated things, QuickBooks, Access, Docs, uh, PDFs, etc. Uh, I'm just going to, as an example, do Access and we'll, um, I don't have any of the other crap on this uh, virtual machine, but I'll do Manifest Files. Um, because I have several of those I wouldn't mind backing up, so we'll just search the partition. And basically, um, if you have a document in the user profile and I search for documents, um, what 
that's going to do, it's going to create two backups, actually. It's going to create one backup of that document in the documents folder, and it will create a separate backup of the document in a folder called Word files. And um, basically what the search entire partition for is, is for is, is for the paranoid uh, among us who absolutely must get every document from the computer. Um, again, because there are users that end up with documents in strange places. So um, that's what that's for. And of course, special requests like my manifest files. Um, moving on, we have local OS only options. And this is why I'm uh, doing data grab on the local OS because I want to go ahead and show you some of the things that it uh, retrieves. Current user only. This is some uh, items that it retrieves as well. I will explain those in just a moment. Um, guest operating system only or offline installation um, just snatches the software registry hive because you know that's good for getting product keys uh, from there um, especially like your office product key um, get many dumps uh, just in case you want to analyze them OS information I'll show you that in a moment get support directory now the support directory is um, something that I like to put on uh, clients computers and in that directory I will store things like drivers um, my uh, custom branded uh, team viewer client um, and uh, you know other items that I might be temporarily working with so I'll automatically back that up by default um, and before we get started um, let's just uh, let's just say that um, you uh, take that out of the path. Let's just say that you would um, have a client who has his uh, name uh, as a user profile directory. Um, if you're lucky enough, you can right click on that and click add highlighted name to backup location. And the, the name is automatically added to the backup location. There's another thing you can automatically add there, or, or manually I should say, but not quite so manually, is the date. And I like to date all of my backups. I recommend that you do the same. Um, so let's go ahead and start the copy process. Searching partition, that normally takes quite a while, but uh, as this is a VM with hardly any data on it, you can see the backup's already complete. Um, so I'll go ahead and open the backup directory, and let's explain what we've got in here. Um, first, I've got IP settings. Um, now I know this machine has a static IP. I know what it is. I know the host name. Um, so we can put everything back properly. I've got shared folders. Um, this is your standard NetSH uh, something or other command output, like this was your IP config slash all output. Um, map drives I've got right here. Um, RDP port number 3389, so you know that's default. If it were a non-default value, it would, it would be there. Um, now we've got prodspec.ini. This is part of that get OS information right here. Prodspec.ini is just uh, something that uh, I pick up because it tells you what version of Windows is in there. Um, moving on, um, the user profile location is recreated and data grab preserves the folder structure of all of the data that it backs up inside so you've got your all users let's go into my user profile and we'll see what we've got um, we've got of course my desktop items uh, favorites documents we've got some things in application data that it found it found the Windows address book okay um, whoop -de. Uh local settings it found Outlook Express email, which actually there is none, but they're the default uh, DBXs. Also, we've got IE main settings, IE typed URLs, and OE accounts .reg files in here. Um, the IE main settings contain things like your home page and uh, window positioning and such for uh, Internet Explorer. And um, the uh, IE typed URLs is the um, history uh, for the address bar, 
the little drop down you can actually just merge these files and and put them uh, exactly back where they where they belong the customer will have their history it, their home page and all that good stuff um, OE accounts uh, contains uh, account information um, for your uh, you know your pop and SMTP server and all that other good stuff um, for Outlook Express or Windows Mail however um, you can't just import that because the associated ID may be different I believe so I th but at least you can use this file for retrieving that info if you need to now I'm going to back out of this and show you, um, remember I said the search entire partition function make copies of the files that it made here. So you'll see we have just folders and I have a folder of MDB files and a folder of manifest files. Uh, inside them here is every MDB file that was on uh, the hard drive. Inside the manifest files I have every manifest file that was on the hard drive and that really concludes the um, demonstration I have for you and I hope you'll like uh, using data grab um, it, it really can be a cinch when you're looking at putting a customer's data back because especially on Vista and 7 um, you can just copy that um, user profile folder that is backed up through data grab directly on top of the um, user profile folder on a fresh Windows install um, and uh, assuming all the uh, appropriate user accounts are, are, are already created um, and have been logged into for that uh, initial um, uh, directory structure to be created otherwise it will create an entirely different one but and that's a topic for another time too but um, data grab just makes everything a lot easier um, and it gets a lot of the junk that you don't so um, I can have a, a very small backup uh, and be done with my backup a lot faster than the tech sitting next to me who still doesn't use data grab um, which yes there are people in my organization that don't use data grab believe it or not but um, I highly recommend it to you um, and I highly recommend it to to them uh, but they, they still like to clone the whole drive I, I, I don't know I'm a data grab person myself I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and you have a good evening